Hello and welcome to another of my macro screencasts. I'm working on the basis here that you know that macros would be useful in your work as a proofreader or editor but it's just getting over that initial hurdle of getting started. So in this first part I want to demonstrate how to put macros into your computer and then in the second part I'll show you how to run those macros. So let's start by seeing what a macro looks like. There's a kind of demonstration one at the in the beginning of my book. Let's bring it in, here we go, in the section Introduction to Macros. So there is the macro underneath. It's basically just a set of instructions that tell the computer to do something. But that set of instructions has to have a beginning and an end. That's sub and end sub, where sub is just an abbreviation for subroutine, which is the same thing as a macro and it has to have a name. So the first line is sub swap words in this case and that's the name of this macro. The formatting in this by the way is just uh, for demonstration purposes so you can see which bits are which. So what we want to do is to copy this macro and then paste it into the right place in the computer. We want to paste it into Visual Basic which is the computer program that actually runs the macros. Now the problem is that this bit is different on different computers and for different versions of Word but I hope I've found a way that will work on any computer. So let's try. So I'm going to copy the macro and there uh, I shall start at the top and select all the way down to the bottom so I've got the first line and the last line and I use Control C to copy it or Command C on a Mac. So let's move that out of the way and we're going to use two keystrokes to help us in this. The Alt F8 or you know, on a Mac is Option F8 will give us a list of the macro names that are in the computer and Alt F11 will give us the actual text of the macros and that's where we want to paste this macro that we've just copied. But the problem we get sometimes is that we end up with a blank screen so if I try Alt F8 to actually go into Visual Basic to paste our macro in, I've got a blank screen. It is Visual Basic, it says it at the top, but that doesn't help us. So let's just close that for a minute. Let's try Alt F8 instead. Now this one is supposedly a list of macros and here are my macros. Well there aren't any. So that's the situation that some of you will have. You haven't got any macros in there. So we're going to use a trick in order to get started. So I'm going to create a new macro and I'm going to call it demo. D-E-M-O. That's the name of the macro. And I'm going to click here to create it. And there we are. We've got a demo macro. It doesn't do anything, but it means that we're now in Visual Basic but we've got somewhere where we can paste our, the macro that we've copied. So let's just go to the bottom, put an extra blank line in and control V to paste and there's my macro. So I've got the macros pasted into Visual Basic. So now if I close that window, being careful to click the top right icon for close, then I can now use Alt F8 and there I have my list of macros. So this time I've got two macros, swap words and demo. So now let's try loading another macro. Let's close that window. Let's get a macro from my book. In the second part of the book, which is the file headed the macros, uh, the, this is the text of all the actual macros. There are a rather lot of them hundreds of them there. Suppose you've been looking at proper noun analyze and think, ah, oh, that might be a useful macro. How do I load it up from here? Well, I can search for it by using find and replace. And I'm going to search for proper noun, which should probably find it. So find next. There we are. That's the beginning of the macro, sub proper noun analyze. So this is what I want to, se to select, to copy. But it's quite a long macro, so I've got to look down 
until I find the end of this macro and the beginning of the next macro. There, there we go. That's the next macro. So if I hold the shift key down and press select, then that copies that macro. So control C to copy. And now I want to paste it into the macros. So if I use Alt F11, there's my Visual Basic. Another blank line because I like a blank line between each one. Control V to paste. And that's the second macro in there. Now if I close that window and do an Alt F8, I've now got my three macros. Uh, why don't I just get rid of demo and delete that one because I don't really want it anymore. So I've got my two macros and I'm ready now to think about how to run them but I'm going to do that in a separate video.